How's it going guys? Today we're going to talk about the swing arms for the Chaplain. One of the most significant things about this swing arm design is the pivot point. Now we did a lot of research over the past year or so and we have found a major problem going on in the industry and that is the fact that nearly everyone out there is using ball bearings. I don't really know how this started or when this started but using ball bearings for a swing arm is a terrible idea. And it's one of the main reasons why a lot of swing arms get loose over time on e-bikes. So traditionally, motorcycles actually use something like this. This is a brass bushing. Um, it's a technology that's been around for a very long time and is pretty bulletproof. But as time went on, motorcycles started substituting these brass bushings out for needle bearings. Well, the Javelin is a lot lighter than most motorcycles out there, and it's probably not gonna need needle bearings. So instead, we are replacing ball bearings with brass bushings. There will be no ability for the ball bearings to hammer down and have flat spots, which cause tweaking over time. And to go with the brass bushings, we're using a 5 8 inch axle. So besides the brass bushing and the really strong axle, there is one more element to the swing arm that is very significant. This bike actually uses torque arms to help withstand some of the loads. Now, that's needed on this bike because it has regen braking. Without them, the axle would slowly loosen over time because you have forces going in both directions. We pulled a couple tricky things on this design. You might remember from the other video, me talking about the fact that the dropout on Javelin is 150 millimeters. Well, in the e-bike world, fat tires use a 175 millimeter dropout. If I take out the torque arms on the motor, and I now pull a 20 inch fat tire, and you'll notice that it fits perfectly. So why is that important? Well, by standard, the Javelin will have 19 inch wheels, but we are talking about selling the frame as a roller only. So for those of you who have done project bikes, maybe you have a lower powered e-bike that you put a very powerful motor on and you're finding that it's not stable, you could buy a roller frame, take your components off that bike and put them onto our frame and have a much more stable ride. All right guys, so that's the swing arm. In the next video, we're gonna talk about the seat.